Hey everyone, it's Audrey, and this video is really just an experiment I filmed trying to propagate herbs in water. I wasn't entirely sure it was going to work, but if you watched my plant tour, I talked a little bit about plant propagation and how a good amount of my plants are ones that I've grown from the leaf cuttings of older existing plants. I wanted to do this experiment because I haven't had much luck keeping herbs alive in soil. So I did a little test run with basil first, and surprisingly was able to develop a root system. The other herbs I decided to try out were peppermint, oregano, rosemary, fennel, and catnip. There's a lot of other herbs you can propagate in water like this, but I figured I'd start small with just these, so let's get into it. Starting off, I placed these glass bottles I had on my west-facing windowsill. This window gets a lot of afternoon and evening sun, but I do live in an apartment without a view, so the direct sunlight rays only really hit the window for a few hours at most. Still a very bright area, but more indirect sunlight. You will also need some pruning shears or sharp scissors, and some room temperature water. I just use tap water, but I've also read that the kind of chemicals in your water source affects this process. So some people use filtered water. I'm not really sure. Uh, keeping it simple has always worked for me though. I fill my containers, leaving a bit of space at the top. And then I get to harvesting the cuttings. Demonstrating with my basil, I like to snip from an existing plant with sterilized shears, cutting the stem at a diagonal, giving myself space just before or at a node, which is where leaves grow from the stem. Placing that cutting into the water, I also like there to be a few healthy looking leaves attached as well, and making sure none of the leaves get wet to prevent bacteria from growing. Should look something like this. Repeating this process with each of the herbs, cutting at a node with a few already established leaves on top, and trimming the leaves off where the stem will sit in water. Obviously, this entirely depends on what plant you're cutting from, but the stems should be pretty bare, and I think I put in about two to three cuttings per bottle. Once I was finished, I just left it on my windowsill. There's a lot of humidity in my kitchen, so I feel like the conditions were just ideal for what I was trying to do. I haven't tried any other methods, but if you don't have enough humidity in your home, supposedly you can cover the containers with a plastic bag to retain moisture, use a humidifier, or place these somewhere in your bathroom where it will benefit from the steam from your shower. 
From this point, it's a total waiting game. I keep an eye on these and top off the water if I see it getting low. And I also change the water every few days. You don't want to see any murkiness or fungi growing at all. Two weeks later, and this is what has become of my hydroponic, soilless herb garden. It's kind of interesting to see the differences in the growth between the herbs. Some definitely grew faster than others, and for the most part, they've all grown taller. You can plant these in soil after the roots are, say, like an inch long, but I think I'll just try to continue to grow these in water. A larger basil and peppermint plant I've done this with, both about a month old now. I change the water weekly and I haven't done this yet personally, but it's recommended to add some sort of hydroponic fertilizer for nutrients since water won't provide that like soil does. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. I'm pretty new to this process. I know that there's a lot more that goes into it, depending on what kind of plants or herbs that you're trying to grow. The more research I did, the more complicated it seemed to be, all to do with the pH level of the water and the different kind of nutrients to add. Uh, so this is definitely the quick and simple version. For now, I think I'll just repeat this process and grow an endless supply of herbs. <laughs> 